In this video, we're going to cover installing the RetroMic mining tools on a HiveOS rig in single user mode. One of the most common installation paths for the mining tools is to just run it on one of your HiveOS rigs. Typically, your rigs are always up, and so this kind of allows it to make sure that it's always up and running. There's really no interference. You just let it run as a background service on one of your rigs. There's multiple modes it can be ran in, single user mode or multi-user mode. And in this video, we're just going to cover the single user mode with HiveOS. So what I have here is I have a fresh HiveOS instance. Uh, this is actually on a mini PC. Um, first thing we're going to do is you can see we only have 2.7 gigs free. Uh, this is a out of the box install. So the first thing we want to do is we want to run up to run command and we want to run disk expand. So it's disk hyphen expand and we're going to hit run. And that will take a few seconds. And what should happen when that is done is our disk space should get expanded to the full drive size. This isn't necessarily needed to run this app. Uh, it doesn't use a whole lot of space. However, if you start installing a bunch of different miners, then you can run out of space pretty quick. So if we refresh, we can see we now have 114 gigabytes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run the installer script. And it's very simple. I'll link it in the description below. It's also available on the GitHub. And all you have to do is just go to run command and you're going to, you can just copy and paste the command in. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to download the Hive OS installer script in single user mode and it's going to execute it. So we're going to go ahead and hit run and this is going to download all the dependencies that are needed to get it up and running on your system. Uh, it can take anywhere from three to five minutes for this to complete. So we're just going to let this run and then we will kind of go through the output as soon as it's done. All right, once it's done, you'll see a uh, entry here that it executed it. We can go ahead and click this. And what we can see is, okay, it started at 6.43 p.m. and it finished at 6.47 p.m. So this time it took about four minutes to run. And we can just run through here real quick and see what it did. Essentially what it's gonna do is it's going to download and install uh, the .NET Core package from Microsoft that's needed to run this application. And that's what a bulk of what you're gonna see happening here. Uh, in addition to that, it's also going to install Google Chrome and also install the Chrome driver that is used for the Gold Shell API functionality. So once all those dependencies are installed, you just scroll all the way to the bottom you can see here it's been installed and you can just copy and paste this URL. It's basically always going to be the IP address of your system uh, at port 7000. And this will be internal only, so you do need to be on the same network as the HiveOS rig. And then you can just paste in the browser and here you are. It's running single user mode, so you can come in. You can set up your core configuration. You can define um, the internal profit switching, turn on auto exchanging, set up your HiveOS API keys. Uh, the system will default to 10 cents kilowatt hour power price. You can change that to whatever is your current rate. Uh, if you want to change the port that it runs on, you can do that here. I recommend just leaving at 7,000, uh, but you can change that if you want. And then uh, that's pretty much it. You're up and running. Uh, check out the overview video if you're curious about kind of what all the features are. Uh, but this will get you up and running once you enter your HiveOS API keys. You can import your rigs and you can start configuring whatever coins you want to use.